Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to another episode of the Fantasy Village Let's Build. Guys, we're back again, and I've got some updates since the last episode. I have been working on the world here. First thing right off the bat, since we're standing in front of it, is the church that I've added to this build. Brand new church. Basically just built out of cobblestone, some regular stone and stone brick. Lovely combo. So here is the Dunswick Church, the Church of Dunswick, the name of the town. No interior on it yet, but I decided to go with the, uh, I believe this is light blue stained glass, which is really nice, and there's also like an assorted rainbow of glass on the back as well. So pretty cool. It's like one of the first churches I've ever made, and I thought it turned out pretty solid. I think it fits the town pretty nicely. It's not too large, but it definitely stands out, I would say, uh, you know, just amongst the town. And I think it's in a pretty solid spot, too. We decided to put it right next to the cemetery here, which I think makes some makes some solid sense. Kind of like along the edge of this hill, so um, I think it turned out pretty nice. So that's the church. Might work on that a little bit today. Maybe some interior. And then over here, we have the mage tower completed. This is what we started last episode, and I finished it. So that's how it's looking. It's a little fat, actually. I might slim it down a little bit. It's a little bit larger than I wanted it to be, so might make some changes to that, but it's looking pretty solid other than that. And the reason why I say that is just the base is a little bit small compared to the top, so that's something that is bothering me a little bit. So we might make some changes to that at some point, but for as of right now, it's looking pretty solid. But today, we are going to do a couple of things. First off, I'm going to create the pathway that connects to the church. We're going to do that. We're going to place some bone meal around that. And then I'm going to work on this blacksmith forge over here. This building right here is the blacksmith house, but we haven't built the forge yet. And there's going to be like kind of like two different forges, one inside here on the deck. And then there's going to also going to be kind of like an open area out here by the pathway and by the river. So we're going to be working on that later on. But let's just start off here with this pathway that's going to connect the front door of the church to the main road. Okay, so now we have the pickaxe ready to go. Let's start to place our pathway here. Do it nice and slowly so we have a good, solid layout to this. I'm going to probably go to a route right there. I think it's going to be good. Turn this a little bit more here. I think that works pretty nice. There we go. And one thing I definitely want to do is come in here and swap out these mossy stone blocks. Definitely want to get those switched out. And then, of course, we're going to use the mossy stone blocks, and we're actually just going to, you know, kind of shape the design on the outside. We've been doing this throughout the entire series, but it's been working great so far, so we'll just keep doing it. Miserably failing trying to place blocks. Okay, so we're going to get these put in, run it to right here, run to there, around the corner to the edge as well. The church is already built. Got to just add the pathway now. Place some extra glass blocks right there without horribly misplacing blocks like I'm doing right now. Get these connected over to here. Down the corner. And there we go. So there's our little path connected to the church. Looking solid. I'm gonna switch out that grass block there. There we go. That looks a little bit better. And let's also come in here. We have some. I think I use crackstone bricks. So let's just swap out some of these crackstone bricks for. Just some like regular mossy stone bricks because I like these a little bit more. I want to utilize these throughout the build. So let's just make sure that there's plenty of them kind of placed all over. And I'm going to put a grass block here. Mix some grass blocks into the pathway as well. Definitely important to do that. There we go. It's funny how when you place the grass blocks, it actually affects the the block of the stone. It's just it's incredible. All right, well, anyway. Let's uh, get rid of that block there, and there's our pathway. That's what we're going to rock with right there. Pretty nice. Okay, so next thing we're going to do, let me just grab some bone meal. And I am going to place some of this kind of along this pathway here. Try to double stack it as much as I can so we get the taller grass. And I'm going to be doing a lot of this throughout the village. I've already kind of started with this a little bit. Just really spamming bone meal. I want a lot of tall grass along the edges of the pathways throughout like most of the village. That's kind of my plan with this. 
I want a lot of overgrowth. A lot of flowers and things. Just nice landscape. Um, and, you know, we're going to be adding trees once, like, we have all the buildings put in, which we're getting pretty close. We have quite a few buildings. I think the village needs more houses. needs a little bit more density at this point. We have a lot of structures, but I still think we have space for a lot more. We're going to add another big building over here. Building here, building over here. It's just we have so much more space to add things. So we want to make sure that we, we actually do this. Because I want to... I want this to be a very dense village when it comes to like the final form of it. And what I mean by trees, we're going to be placing lots of these trees here. I don't know if I'm going to keep the uh, the oak trees. I might honestly just swap them all out with the mega redwoods. Those are a fan favorite. Well, not a fan favorite, but they're my favorite for this particular theme. So we'll probably end up going with that quite a bit. But anyway, let's come over here. And I'm going to start working on this blacksmith forge. So... This is going to be a little tricky since this is going to be kind of like interpretation builds. But I'm going to grab myself a furnace here. And I'm going to grab myself some cobblestone stairs as well. I'm going to start by making like a smelter. And see how that kind of comes together. I'm going to try to put this thing kind of along the edge of the hill here. We'll do uh, three blocks wide, three by three. Running through here. Make this a couple blocks tall. I'm going to put the furnace here. We're going to have some some stairs wrap around this thing. Like that. Place a block on top. Maybe a slab on top of that. or Yeah, I think that works. It's going to be our little smeltery. Smelter. Smeltery, I don't know what to call it. Might put that inside, actually. And we should probably grab some cobwebs as well. So we're going to be using those as some smoke coming off of this thing. As a matter of fact, do we have any chimneys yet with smoke coming out of them? I want to say that we do. Maybe not. Okay, I guess not. I thought we might have had a chimney with smoke. I was, I was going to tech check that for the, um, the direction of the wind. We want it all to be uh, lined up properly. So we'll take some, uh, some cobwebs out through here. A little bit of smoke coming out of the, uh, the smelter. Looks pretty good. And let's see, what else do we need to add to this? Um, of course, the actually, the pathway is going to continue out over here as well. So we'll just add a little bit of that. Take the grass as well and kind of frame it around that shape a little bit better. There we go. So there's our start. Let's get the cobblestone back out here. Place these uh, <laughs> those blocks there. Get those sorted properly. Do the rest of that later. Uh, next thing I want to do is grab some birch slabs. Birch slabs. Birch stairs. And we'll see what we can come up with here. I want to try to build um, like a grindstone here. If I can. That might be a little tricky. But I was thinking about something like this. Like a little birch panel with some stairs upside down like that, kind of holding it up. Uh, we need like a pedal. So let's get some, uh, well we need, let's get a lever, definitely a lever. And let's get a pressure plate as well. We'll grab a wooden pressure plate. So I'm gonna put a wooden pressure plate right here and a lever in front of that. And actually, you know what we're gonna do? I think I might use the lever as like the grindstone. I think that might look pretty cool. So something like that right there. I think that looks pretty nice. Definitely can add more to it though. We gotta. There's a lot of stone over here. We gotta kind of neutralize that. Okay, so we have a smelter, a grindstone. What what else do we need? We need that little fire pit, right? Um. Oh crap! I was wondering what was happening. Spamming the A button. Let's grab some cobblestone. Some lava. Lava is gonna be interesting to use. I haven't used that yet in this pack. Um and think we'll be good with that so let's do that right over here let's go one two three two three actually let's make this two i think that'll be a little bit better as two blocks instead of three so like that then we'll make a little pit here lava gonna be at the bottom of it this is gonna be pretty cool i think 
So we'll put the lava right here. And, you know, just as I would have expected, lava looks really cool in this pack. Place that down. Gonna put some extra slabs around the edge of that. And there we go. We have ourselves our lava pit. Smelter. Lava pit. Um, grindstone. We need something else, though. I'm gonna grab some fences. And I'm going to just put a little wall of fences right over here. Let's go like four blocks across. Make it three blocks tall or two blocks tall. Let's, let's try three. And I'm going to grab some paintings. And I'm wondering if there's a painting for like that um, that leather panel thing that they, I don't know. I don't know what to call it, but it's like this like leather strip thing that helps to, helps in smithing for whatever reason. And I was also thinking about, holy crap, look at that. <laughs> That's so sick. Yeah, we got to utilize some of these paintings. This is kind of the first time I'm looking at them. Look at that, the guy slaying a dragon. Curtain. I'm, I, I just don't know like what the options are, so I'm just going to kind of go through them here. Okay, it seems like we've gone through most of them already. Ooh, that one's kind of cool. A little board or something. Put some pots and pans. That doesn't really match. That's more of a kitchen thing. Ooh, that's cool. Maybe we'll put that up there. Yeah, I like that. It's like a little town. Honestly, I didn't plan for this to look like this, but it's kind of like a little town. Uh, yeah, let's put some knives there. Yeah. It's a little town poster thing. Oh, we got to add more of these around the village. That adds a lot of character. really like that. So something like that, right? That's pretty much like what I was thinking about the outdoor blacksmith area right there. And we're going to have basically this stuff here in here as well. I'm going to put some tables in here, an extra grindstone, an extra smelter. Um, we just can't have like the lava thing in there because it's going to burn stuff down. But that's pretty cool. It's kind of what I want to do right there. Definitely going to have to add some more of these paintings around the village. So maybe we can put some like wanted posters down here in middle town yeah like that's a wanted poster right there put another one over here um pickaxe poster yeah we'll leave it <laughs> i like these let's throw down as many as we can another pickaxe poster a world map we'll put down a world map <laughs> that doesn't really fit all the other ones do i don't think that one does there we go another pickaxe just add some nice stuff to the town we could definitely be putting some some of this over here. I think I'm going to put two wanted posters. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. We're going to put two of those on top of each other. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Nope, that's not it. There we go. Two wanted posters on each one of these. The Imperial, the Imperial Army is just... They're after all the bandits. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get this one here first. That way this one's a little bit easier to uh, get. It narrows down our options. Got some wanted posters out in the front of the Imperial Keep. Speaking of the Imperial Keep, what is it looking like on the interior of this? I haven't been in here in a minute. Alright, so it's coming together. Still needs a lot of work. But it's a start. Of course, we're going to get to all the interiors later on in the episode... Or later on in the, uh, in the series. But as of right now... We're looking real good when it comes to like to overall stuff that's been added uh, i'm gonna wrap up here in a second with uh some church interior uh next time we work on this i think i'm gonna start another new building it seems like every time i hop on this world i'm starting something new i think i'm gonna build um some sort of like large trader building over here or, or maybe some sort of tent of some sorts i don't know i'm not sure yet it's going to be something something to go along with the, the town square here, which I think, compared to the rest of the town, is a little underwhelming. So it needs more added to it, which is what we're going to be doing soon. And I also, I think I am going to keep all the different assortment of trees. And I think I'm also going to add some birch trees as well to the town. Maybe some custom birch trees, because I just want as much um, different styles of trees as possible. I think that's probably the best way to go. But here's the interior of the hos or, <laughs> hospital. It's a church. Um, let me grab some cobblestone stairs and 
let's go ahead and place some walls up here. So I'm going to put a little wrap around of cobblestone right here. Cobblestone stairs. Just one block below the window. Connecting like that. And then just going to be kind of cobblestone wrapping around this here on this like upper level where the windows are and I would like to uh, add some sort of different color block on the interior I don't know what I'm gonna do just yet I'll have to go I'm gonna go through all the blocks in the game and find the one that I like the most not gonna do that right now but I'm gonna get it all filled in right now and then I can swap it out with world edit later on and I am really struggling placing these blocks for some reason it's just very challenging Okay, and then we got our last wall here. This is just kind of a start. We have the whole interior to build as well. Okay, there we go. So just that way, those windows that are double stacked up there, they actually have, they're not just floating anymore, which is kind of what I wanted to accomplish there. So here's the interior of the church. And this is gonna be a pretty cool thing. Um, let me grab some spruce wood stairs. And we're going to place some of these right here, upside down, going all the way across. Got to get those filled in from the outside. Gets rid of that uh, ugly design. Starts to add some interior design here. Kind of get this run all the way down. We're also going to grab some glowstone since it is super dark in here. You guys can't see a thing. I can't see anything either. It's not just you guys. Let's put some glowstone here on the ceiling just so I can see a little bit. Put some on the floor as well. This uh, These windows don't emit as much light as you think they would. Okay, so we have that side. Now let's do this side. And I'm going to add some log beams that are going to run down through the church as well. I'm also going to add a staircase probably over here that's going to connect up to the top level of the tower part of the church since that needs to be accessed somehow. Or I might just put a ladder in the back. That might work a little bit better, honestly. A little bit more efficient use of the space. We're just going to have to wait and see. Okay, so we'll run this down. Get this filled across. There we go. So just like that, it's already looking a little bit better. This wall is going to get double stacked, by the way. So we can run this down with cobble. Probably should have done this before we placed the stairs, but it's fine. Have this go all the way across just to kind of frame this window. All the walls on the interior here are going to get double stacked, except for the one that connects to the door. No need for that one to be double stacked. That's Actually, that one kind of already is, just the way I did the exterior. Okay, so let's uh, let's speed up the process a little bit here. Let's add some cobblestone. Let's do a little world edit. There we go. Get these last few blocks placed. All the cobblestone blocks are connecting with the connecting textures, which is absolutely amazing. All right, we'll get this filled in and run through. There we go. So that wall has now been double stacked. Now we got to do this wall here. So I'm going to just do this real quick with world edit. We're just going to start with the top and the bottom. In fact, this right here can be turned into cobblestone. So I'm just going to do this right here. We'll start off with these two blocks. Set four. Set four. And got to make sure I got the right block there. Set four, which equals to basically placing cobblestone. There we go. So that window is one block away from the edge over here. It's two blocks away from the edge over here. So I actually might end up double stacking it on both sides just to fit that a little bit better. Um, I think that'd probably be pretty smart. But let me do this other side real quick right here, and we'll see how it looks. Okay, everybody, I removed the cobblestone. I got the walls double stacked. I put the uh, little pillars of logs going across the ceiling there just to add some nice designs and as far as the church interior it should be pretty simple just going to be some rows of seating and an altar real simple so we'll do that later and uh, that's going to wrap it up for today guys quick little episode working on the fancy village just making some progress showing you guys some of the updates uh, business has been booming here on the fancy village getting a lot of stuff done on this thing so getting closer and closer to kind of like a final product down the line lots more to be added but you know every day more things are coming together so 
it's uh, looking pretty solid. I'm kind of looking forward to in, uh, furnishing some of this stuff, especially the inn. I think that's going to be pretty fun to furnish since this is my favorite build so far that we've done. But uh, the church, I have to say, is definitely up there. Definitely fits the theme of the village. I love the cobblestone, stone brick, and regular stone combination on the wall. I think that just has an incredible look in this pack. So it's a good addition to the world. Uh, next episode, like I said, I'm probably going to work over here and try to add some sort of trader building over here, like the Dunswick Trader. Some sort of like little general store is kind of like what that's supposed to be. And then we'll just go from there. So thanks for watching, everybody. It's been Dan Langs. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of the Fantasy Village. And if you did, drop a like on the video. That would be great. I'll see you guys for the next episode in a few days. Have a good one, everybody, and peace out.